Hello everyone, I am Desai and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss the very basic concept of pathology that is cell adaptation. How cells adapt to different kind of stresses and injuries is the basic of pathology. It's kind of bread and butter of pathology. If you don't understand this basic concept, the entire pathology will seem some kind of hieroglyphic to you. But if you understand this very basic and very trivial concept, the entire pathology will be kind of a cakewalk for you. So in this video, I have tried to simplify the basic concept of cell adaptation, which lies in the core of understanding pathology. So let's get going. Suppose you are this nice young chap who is a very sincere student in a college, right? Now, this chap like you has a very beautiful and gorgeous, very beautiful and gorgeous girlfriend, right? Now they have a very good relationship. Okay, but sometimes uh, this chap's girlfriend becomes very much demanding from him. She wants to go to party, she wants to go to cinema, she wants to dine with him, but she fails to understand that this chap is a very busy biology and medicine student who has very less time for all this stuff because he has a low load of syllabus to cover within a very short period of time. Now, when he goes and tries to explain this to his girlfriend, they, that leads to some misunderstanding between them and that leads to some fallouts. Right? Now, if the fallouts are on trivial issues are not that severe, then what happens? They both, they both try to put, put efforts into their fallout and finally, they after a certain period of time, they mend their relationship and everything works fine. They get happy again. They get happy again, right? But suppose this fallout Now suppose this fallout is very big and this becomes almost unamendable. Then what happens? Then this results into a very sad turn of events which lead to the breakup of these two people. Right? They both get unhappy and they, this leads to a breakup. Right? So now Basically, let's try to understand why I'm trying to tell the story to you. How it is related to our understanding of cell adaptation, right? Let's understand. So basically what happened to this people, this couple initially, initially they were happy, right? Then when they fell out or they had a quarrel or misunderstanding, they had some kind of a misunderstanding and that le led to sadness now they tried when they tried to reconcile or sort out matters between them things took a good turn and they became happy again but when they did not put enough effort or the sadness was immense in that situation what happened the sadness got prolonged and that led to a very sad turn of event that is they broke up right now this simple idea can be applied in the understanding of cell adaptations now let's go to the cell part of the story now over, over here we have a normal cell right now due to some reason suppose this cell gets some stress now what can be that stress we all know that almost all the cells in our body are allotted some kind of work right everybody works suppose the work that is allotted to this cell gets doubled up so this cell receives increased workload increased workload and that works as a stress in the life of this cell right now until then until now the cell was very happy and normal the cell was mining as you can see over here but now as the workload increased the cell becomes sad and now the cell started to think how he will try will try and cope with this difficult situation right so the cell went into thinking mode then the cell thought of devising some very innovative ideas the cell thought of adapting the cell thought let's adapt 
right the cell wanted to adapt now how he adapted now he adapted in different ways one thing that he tried to do he tried to increase its size so that it can cope with increased workload so that it can work more or can manage the stress better so what it did it increased its workload i mean it increased its size and become a large cell now it has become a large cell right now this situation of becoming large in response to a stress is known as hypertrophy that means increase in size of a cell in stress is known as hypertrophy let's understand the term carefully it is known as hypertrophy hypertrophy now let's dissect this term in order to understand it better now what is the meaning of this term first of all hyper means more or increased and trophy means nutrition now pathology people or pathology guys are very funny and they are they have immense ability to imagine like they th thought that the cell is increasing in size that means the cell was eating more and more just because the cell was eating more and more the cell got buffed up and be and became large that means the nutrition supply to the cell increased and as the cell was getting more and more nutrition let's call this process hypertrophy so hypertrophy is increase in the si cell size in response to stress so this is one method of coping with stress so this is number 1 but the cell was very much clever like you people so what the cell did cell thought of applying other methods also he thought if if i can't get enough nutrition or if i can't get big suppose the tissue in which the cell is doesn't have enough space to accommodate large cells now in that situation what will happen the cell can divide or from stem cells new cells can come in so if by any way the number of cells increase then that situation also will help you to do your work suppose initially the increased workload was given to one person so the cell became clever and divided the workload between his colleagues amongst his colleagues now two cells are doing the same amount of work so the stress gets divided so over here there is a very beautiful example of division of labor and for the division of labor the number of cells somehow increased how they increased how hypertrophy is occurring and all these adaptations we will discuss in a separate module in the upcoming modules but for, for now just understand the terms and get the birds eye view of the concept now as the number of the cells increased what happened this was a process known as hyperplasia this is known as hyperplasia now the plasia is a word related to number so basically more number you get more number that means increase in the number of cells occurred right but the cell was even more clever he th he thought of another way what now the cell was perfectly happy that either it can get more nutrition and get and grow large in size larger in size so that it can cope with, cope with the stress or it can involve more of his colleagues or somehow increase the number of cells in a tissue so that the, there is a division of labor and the stress to one cell decrease right so by now the cell became happy now what happened now let's come to you let's come back to you now you are a happy student now you have already had a break up with your girlfriend now you want to get hold of another one right now for that what you are doing to impress girls you are hitting the gyms now regularly in order to get some appreciable or get some fascinating biceps or muscles right to get the muscles gyming is not enough you know that very well you started to hit the you started eating healthy right so if in order to eat healthy you decided not to buy food from outside shops or your college canteen and you went for cooking yourself you went for a session of self cooking so that you can cook healthy food for you which can help you in your gym so 
for cooking what happened you donned the hat of a chef you wore an apron around your body and you also held in your hand a very big spatula to cook your meal so now over what happened initially you were a simple student you were a student right but now what happened you became a cook for your own self right now what happened when you were a student you were in college and the stress to you you were your assignments so that were academic stress so now you were facing you were faced with you were facing what you were facing academic stress academic stress academics was stress for you but now you have come back to your room and now you want to cook now the stress is getting a meal prepared so stress is sorry the stress is getting a meal prepared meal prep so now over here we can see that upon changing the stress your role that the role that you are assuming is also changing all right so basically what i can infer from this is that when you change the role change the stress you your type also change your occupation changes that means when i change the stress initially you were a student when your stress was academics you turned into a cook when your stress became meal preparation so your occupation changed similar things happen to cells now this is a norm suppose this is a normal cell yes it is but it is given a task of fitting into a hole on a wall this is a wall and there is a hole in the wall now this cell has been given the task of fitting into that wall now in this kind of a stress this cell cannot handle right so so to deal with this stress the cell can get changed into another type of cell so cell of another type right now this is a reversible process when the stress again comes back to the initial stress you get back to your normal cell type like when your meal cooking is done you get back to your original self that is a student right so this is again a reversible process and this process is known as a metaplasia this is known as a metaplasia we will be discussing all these things in details when we will be dealing with the individual adaptations in upcoming modules but for now we are not going into details i just tried to explain in a very simple story like pattern what happens to cells in response to a stress so to summarize the matter what happens suppose you have a normal cell you are a normal cell now what happens now if i put stress to this normal cell suppose i put stress then what happens the normal cell tries to adapt there's a need or there's an attempt to adapt right but if if by any chance adaptation fails if adaptation fails then what happens there is cell injury the cell suffers cell injury right if the adaptation fails now if this injury is transient if this injury is transient then th that is known as a reversible injury that is known as a reversible injury and when you remove the stress from the reversible injury when you remove the stress you can go back to your normal cell condition when you remove out your stress you just simply remove the stress right but if the injury is prolonged what happens if the injury is prolonged in that situation this will be an irreversible injury 
injury will be irreversible in that situation even if you try to go back to the original situ original state you won't be allowed to do that you won't be able to do that as a cell in that situation you will land up in cell death now there are different ways of cell death that we will be discussing like we have apoptosis we have necrosis etc and many others right but most of the times cell try to adapt and just now we learned the different methods of cell adaptation which were hypertrophy hyperplasia and metaplasia so pathology is all, is all about how cells adapt to different types of stresses in increasing the amount of stress in change in stress how cells adapt and if they are not able to adapt how they die and how they are dying or adapting influence the functioning of a tissue as a whole and how that change or altered functioning of a tissue affect our lives and how they cause disease so this is the nutshell of pathology i hope you have understood what we did today in this class this was a story based class so that you can understand the basic bread and butter of pathology with this knowledge of basics of cell adaptations we will move on in pathology and we will understand in details the different cell adaptations one by one starting from hypertrophy i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button share this video among your friends and if you are new to this channel please hit the like please hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video from my channel until then bye bye see you in the next video module